How to build an aircraft carrier. You will need 60,000 tons of structural steel, four 325-foot catapults, 4.5 acres of non-skid surface, 2,500 laborers, five years, and $5 billion. Fighter jets sold separately. Step one, build a city on the sea. First, prefabricate 161 modules called super lifts, each weighing up to 1.8 million pounds. Use a bridge crane to assemble them and weld them together. Add four 30-ton bronze propellers, giving your aircraft carrier a total weight of 200 million pounds. Step two, give your floating city an airport. So the flight deck is four acres that can launch an airplane every 20 seconds. Think about this, people. <laughs> Step three, it's time to get some planes in the air. On an aircraft carrier, you don't have the luxury of a long runway to build up speed, but you do have the luxury that the runway can move. So if you turn the carrier so that it is moving into the wind in the direction of takeoff, you can add the speed of the carrier to the speed of the plane, plus the speed of the wind to increase the total velocity of air that's moving over the wings. Step four, add a way to stop the planes when they land. When they come back around to land, whenever the mission's complete, there are arresting wires that are ready to catch that aircraft. If you look at it, it looks like a long braided rope, but it's steel braided cable. Our job is to bring that aircraft in at the right angle of attack, on speed, lined up properly, and the hook comes down in the back of the aircraft. And if you do everything right, you grab one of those wires. As soon as it's caught by the arresting wire, you hear it whoomp, shake, 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 shake. Below deck, there's a hydraulic system that takes the kinetic energy of the aircraft and translates it into a uh, hydraulic stopping power. And that's how the aircraft stops. Step five. The crew on the flight deck needs protection too. So a jet blast deflector is like a huge partition or flap that comes up, and it protects personnel from the exhaust and the heat. So any added things to protect personnel are always greatly appreciated. <laughs> Step six, your airport needs a control tower. The deck of an aircraft carrier is entirely flat except for one big tower called the island that rises up 150 feet above it. And it's only 20 feet wide because you want to maximize the area that you have on that flight deck. The top of the island has all of the radio and radar communication antennae for monitoring vessels, jamming, intercepting signals, and all kinds of other top secret stuff. The next level down is the primary flight control, where the air boss and his number two control all the air traffic on the carrier. Below that is the bridge, where the ship's steering and communication systems are headquartered. Below the bridge is the combat direction center, where all enemy threats are processed. 